A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of hostilities, Hezbollah has launched its most lethal strike against Israel since the onset of the current conflict, resulting in the deaths of four Israeli soldiers and injuring dozens more. The attack, which involved a swarm of drones, targeted a military base near Benyamina, approximately 20 miles south of Haifa. According to the Israeli military, 61 soldiers were wounded in the assault, marking a dramatic uptick in violence as the situation in the region continues to deteriorate. Hezbollah's operation was reportedly aimed at Israel's elite Golani Brigade, with the militant group claiming to have launched numerous missiles to distract Israeli air defense systems during the drone offensive. This incident follows closely on the heels of an announcement from Washington regarding the deployment of an advanced anti-ballistic missile defense system, known as Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, to bolster Israel's defenses against potential Iranian missile threats. Pentagon spokesperson Major General Patrick Ryder emphasized the U.S.'s unwavering commitment to Israel's security, especially in light of recent Iranian missile attacks. The situation escalated further as Israeli military operations intensified in Gaza, with reports indicating that at least 10 individuals were killed and 40 injured due to Israeli tank shells hitting a food distribution center in northern Gaza's Jabalia. Eyewitness accounts from Palestinian medics revealed that women and children were among the casualties, highlighting the tragic impact of the ongoing conflict on civilians. In a separate incident, Israeli airstrikes targeted a Hamas command center purportedly located within a hospital compound in central Gaza, resulting in additional casualties. The Hamas-run health ministry reported that four people were killed and 40 others injured in this strike. Images from the scene depicted chaos as flames engulfed makeshift tents where displaced individuals had sought refuge. As Israeli forces ramped up their military operations, they claimed responsibility for striking over 200 targets linked to Hezbollah in southern Lebanon within a 24-hour period. The Red Cross reported that at least 21 people died due to an Israeli airstrike on an apartment building in northern Lebanon, although the intended target of this strike remains unclear. With the ongoing conflict now pitting Israel against both Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, tensions are expected to escalate further, particularly as Israel contemplates military action against Iran in retaliation for recent missile attacks. The conflict has already resulted in over 1,400 fatalities in Lebanon since September, with the Israeli military confirming that nearly half of the casualties in rocket attacks on Israel were soldiers. In response to the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, the United Nations has condemned the rising civilian casualties and called for adherence to international humanitarian law. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged all parties involved to protect civilian lives amidst the intensifying military campaign. As Israeli forces continue their operations in Jabalia, residents face a dire situation, with many displaced and living in fear of further violence. The Israeli military has been accused of attempting to forcibly displace the population of northern Gaza through relentless bombardment and restrictions on aid. Senior Hamas official Sami Abu Zuri characterized these actions as war crimes and called for international intervention. Despite claims from Israeli officials that humanitarian aid is being allowed into Gaza, the reality on the ground suggests otherwise, with many residents expressing skepticism about the government's intentions. The UN has reported that conditions in Jabalia are worsening, with essential services being disrupted and thousands of people left without adequate access to food, water, and medical care. As the conflict continues to escalate, the international community watches closely, with concerns mounting over the potential for a broader regional conflict. The situation remains fluid, and the humanitarian implications are dire as civilians bear the brunt of the violence. The coming days will be critical in determining whether diplomatic efforts can be made to de-escalate the situation and address the urgent needs of those affected by the ongoing violence. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.